it's your back and you know where we at Got the banger in my grass and we living life past And I put that on the dub, motherfuckers got hang What you want, what you talk, what you have for the game Yo, yo, welcome back to another episode of Never Enough Game. Silent 200 right here. I got my boy Lo Setti in the building. Yeet. Like usual, man. We back with another one. Setti, man. Yes, sir. Yes, What's sir. up with you, dog? How was your week? Man, you know what? It was a good-ass week. It was a good week, man. I got a lot of... I had to cut my IG off, bro. I had to turn that shit off for like a good week. That shit was getting like... Uh. Bro, that shit sucks fucking attention. Like a motherfucker, bro. I'm right here... I need to focus on getting some money, and this motherfucking thing's got me like, and niggas be messaging you and doing all types of shit. I was like, bro, I gotta stop this shit for real. So I just chilled off that shit. I was just like, man, I I, I like the break. Fool. I'm back on IG right now though. I gotta promote this little sweater, this little shirt thing. <laughs> Nigga, yeah, if it's yeah. for the money, you mean you gotta, you know what I mean? So yeah, hey, go check out my shit. Uh, uh collab with Grammy Boys. Um, um, uh, what the um. The numero uno, some Caro Quintero shit we're going to drop on 420. Okay. 420, you oh, feel yeah. me? If you want to join the I mean, you got to pre-order that shit. We'll get you the shirt before 420, and everybody is going to go. Uh, Basically, what they're going to do is whoever's doing it the most lit on 420, just send us the video, bro. Where you at, the smoke out you have, but just make sure you're wearing the shirt, and then you enter a contest. Whoever wins, I'm sliding through wherever you're at, wherever you're at. And I'm, I'm going to give you a pound of weed, nigga. That's all you, Damn. baby. Yeah, and we sliding through. We're just chilling. Well, I'm probably not going to chill with you that long. You feel me? Cause I got shit to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, you, you feel gonna, me? You going you gonna to record it? Uh, Yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely do that. So, you know, you want to join, though? By the time this shit comes out, probably, you, probably you're not even going to be able to to join no more, though. So you're probably fucked. Why? Because, because they have to do it. I need to give them the shirts before 420. That's next weekend. Yeah, so they need yeah, a, this they, will probably be out either tonight or tomorrow. If you, if you see this shit, nigga, you want to join, bro, jump on that shit. Because if not, you're asked out of luck, bro, on mamas. But, yeah, that's that's what I've been doing, fool. Just trying to get back, like, because that, that social media shit will get you spent up sometimes, fool. And I just, I'm hella happy I took a break from that shit. Hella people were hitting me up and shit like, you blocked me, cuz? <laughs> no, nigga, I turned my shit off. I take breaks all the time, fool. I really be like just turning my shit off all the way though. Like my shit is in a different phone, so I'll just put it somewhere else in the house, and I just won't go up to it, dog. Yeah, that, I mean, man, I had to get off that shit. But what's up with you? What's been going on with you? Uh, shit, not much. Uh, just dropped a video today with uh my boy P Dubs, called uh motherfuckers know me. So go ahead and check that shit out now, man. That motherfucker just dropped. Oh shit! My Damn. bad. Go ahead. You're you're so distracted with that phone, dog. Yeah, I know my back. Not even listening to nothing I said. You had to go through a couple apps to get to whatever that was right there. <laughs> you sick really, ass phone. Was like uh, scroll, scroll. Which app? Instagram, YouTube. Oh yeah, that be. Oh shit, wait, what was I doing? Damn. That would that was kind of like what happened for my back. Phone. Yeah. Go ahead. I already said it. Oh, so you you dropped that song with P Dove. Yeah, yeah. Finally came out that video. Yeah, it's out now. Make sure motherfuckers go ahead and check that shit out. What's up with you? Stress levels? High or low? Oh, my stress levels? My stress levels are always high, dog, but uh I don't I don't complain that much. I just go ahead and just you feel me? Keep it pushing, dog. Is that why you're drinking that alcohol right there, my boy? Oh yeah. Every Friday and Saturday, man. That's me. That's Is that the, your stress reliever for This me? is it's not a stress That's reliever. That's not healthy. It's not a stress for uh, reliever, but it's a uh, it, it calms my nerves a little bit. I'm just playing with you. Know you what I'm fool. saying. <laughs> I wish I could uh, be able to control myself drinking alcohol. I would love some too. Um, but okay, bro. Let's get on to the. Uh, I have some over there, dog. Nah, I can't. I okay. can't. I, I've already I already lost my drinking privileges, dog. That's right. <laughs> Seven Fuck. lashes. All right, man. What you think about this lefty? The, the fucking viral sensation. The shit that's going crazy right now, bro. Lefty gunplay and Lucky from Hoodstocks, man. Oh, yeah. What you think about that situation right there, fool? <clears throat> as far as, like, just what do I think of it, period? I think that, uh, I think that there was some alcohol involved. But at the same time, I felt like it was just two homies having a conversation and it's just, it, it happened to be televised. So it's like, I've been in plenty of situations for where there's homies having those type of conversations and it gets heated like that. 
And it's like, what? What's up, fool? And like, everybody's like, yo, chill the fuck out. It ain't even that serious, dog. Like, and then like, I, so I know that I feel like that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that there was no like serious, like, man, fuck you. Well, there's, there's always, there's always a nigga who, without disrespecting those two gentlemen, right? There's always a nigga whose fault it is. You feel me? It's always somebody that crossed the line, you know, who crossed the line first. Who knows? You feel me? But but in your perspective, looking at it, if you were in there, what do you think the line was that was crossed? I think uh, 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 when Lucky said fuck you to uh, Lefty, uh, Lefty was just like, oh, all right, well, fuck me then. Like, so <laughs> it's like, and then the way that he said it, and then I feel like Lucky didn't like the way he responded to that, and then it just... It went left from there. I think that it was l- that that I think that I can kind of get what I can put. I put myself in lucky situation because I do this shit all the time. Because your perspective is probably like if you don't know somebody like that, then don't play with them like that, right? Mm-hmm. But my perspective is like because I grew up around like a lot of homies. You have too, right? But like in 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 I don't. I think maybe it's a little different relationship. Pers- different uh, experiences that you've had than I've had with the homies. Cause, cause look, for example, me, I've gotten in situations full, like where the homies have roasted me like one time full and I got hella mad dog, like hella mad. And I grabbed one of the homies and I threw this nigga down a fucking hill and he just started rolling down the hill and all the homies, now, now, now don't get me wrong. The homie was in the sucker. He was with the shit, but he started laughing at me. This nigga was rolling down the hill laughing. And I looked up at all the older <laughs> homies, like all the older homies were laughing at me. Nigga, like it's like, I, like if I like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this nigga said, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, and I don't like that shit. Cause I like him making fun of me. You know what they did? They all laughed at me. And then I'm like, why y'all niggas laughing at that? Cause you can't take a joke, my boy. You're, you're too sensitive. You're like a girl. You're too feminine, bro. You, you gotta be able with, in our neighborhood, but you gotta be able to just, like, you mean, tell you like a bitch, nigga. Like, what you mean? Like, you gotta be a little rough around the edges. You know what I'm saying? And then if you take shit too personal, the homies, my homies will look at you like, niggas start acting like that. You know, you got to learn how to take, didn't, you have to, yeah, you have to know como llevarte. And if you don't, then, um, uh, then don't do it at all. Right. But in my neighborhood, that's not even an option. You know, in our neighborhood, it's not an option. You got to know how to fucking roll with the punches, you know? And that's when I first learned, all right, I look stupid because I took it serious. What he was saying to me. Instead of just saying something back to him and keep that shit going, right? So you develop a thick skin because you're around all of these savage ass fools. You're around like animal ass fools. Like when I first started hanging around fools from my neighborhood, what I what I what I always told people is, you cannot be acting like a fish when you're swimming with sharks because they'll eat your ass up. So if they say something mm-hmm. about you like, oh fool, you're fucking like you're white or da 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 or this that and third. You can't even let that, you can't even look like that shit even got to you. Because if they see that you're bothered by that, oh, they're on your ass every time they see you. You feel mm-hmm. me? And you know what I'm saying? That's how they are. Same thing with me. So you gotta, you, you can't let nothing get to you with these guys. So coming from that perspective, when Lucky was there, I, another thing is when you, when you, that's how I, that's how I act around a lot of homies because we're really like, you know, we're very like, uh, 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 uh rough around the edges, you know? Mm-hmm. So then the thing is, and then when you're meeting a homie that you don't know like that well, you're going off of his vibe, you know? And it, it looked to me like Lefty was very comfortable. And when you're very comfortable like that and you're feeling like in your feelings and you're like, you're, 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 you're doing like these type of hand gestures, well, then I'm going to do the same thing back to you. That's, I'm going to go off of how you are acting. If you're conservative and you're like close minded, like you're never, I'm going to, I'm going to treat you like that. But if you're out here and you're, you know, you did some prison time and shit, you're doing all this. I'm going I'm to assume that it's good, you know, and we're going to, we're going to shoot the shit. We're going to talk shit. We're going to be, nah, we're, we're doing that. So it's like they say, si te vas a llevar, no te rajes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, uh, if you're going to be fucking like, si te vas a andar llevando, don't be crying later, bro. Cause then you lost If you were, if you were going to do that, then don't even do it at all. That's how I look at it. So I look at it like, look, he's fucking around with him back. He's, se anda llevando, look, he's, look, he's, se anda llevando con él. Look, he's, se anda llevando con él para atrás. And then this fool got butt hurt, nigga. And you know what they say? El que, el, el que, como se dice? Um, the one who gets mad loses. The one who gets mad loses. You feel me? El que se enoja pierde. Si me entiendes? So mm-hmm. that's why I was like, come on, bro. 
And then and then when you took it there, it was like, hey, look, this is how I am. If I'm kicking it with somebody, he's fucking fucking around with me. Tonight, if conmigo, I'm fucking around with him back. He gets butt hurt. I like, I ain't fool my bad, dog. You feel me? But that's how I took it. You're still mad, nigga. Let's catch your fade then, nigga. Like if that's what if that's what you want to do, I'll that's how I get down in real life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so uh, uh I don't see what the problem was, to be honest with you. You feel me? If he felt some type of way, nigga, go outside and catch a friendly, homie. Like for real. And if that, and if that people got disrespected by that, then they don't understand. They don't understand how we are. They don't understand how we work. They don't understand the type of mentality. That's all the people that don't understand. Mm -hmm. The homie might have been a little drunk, but hey, shit happens, dog. If you're not if you're not capable to be around people like that, then don't be around them. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's just how I feel about it. Um, but you know, shout out to Lucky, shout out to Lefty Gunplay. You know, uh, regardless, but. Si no te puedes, si no, si no, si te agüitas, no te lleves, güey. Neta. Well, who got mad first? I think he was lefty, because he got mad when he said, fuck you. I, 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 Lucky was just playing around with him. No, I no, because Lucky, I mean, uh, lefty never said, well, let's get down then. No, because he wanted to leave the show. He didn't let, the, he didn't let it go. The fuck you? He didn't let that go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm like, bro, you should have just, hey, if you really chip in, then let's go outside and catch it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Um, but that's that's my take on it. What you think about um Asito and G G G B uh thing that happened in Santa Cruz? Oh, when they uh they got pulled up on by the homies and shit? Yes, sir. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like they probably did what they what what they were told to do. Maybe not necessarily what they, they were told, but it's probably pretty much what they wanted to do as well. What do you think about, like, being an artist, a rap artist, but also, like, being a gang member? Like, it, it's kind of one or another, but it kind of, it, it kind of, it, 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 uh, what do you call it? Um, It contradicts each, itself a lot of times because... I think it, I think it complements itself beautifully. I think it contradicts itself for what it's supposed to be. I think that people want to hear raw, real stories, right? From a real person, but at the end of the day, um, uh, you're you're trying to succeed in this rap shit, right? Mm -hmm. But how are you gonna succeed if you have gang enemies? You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like it's different because you can get killed, nigga. You gonna announce where you're gonna go? I'm gonna go do a pop shop. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Your enemies know too, fool. You feel me? They can kill you. That's what I'm saying. Like, how can you rise? You know, if you if you're really real. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be very difficult for you to rise because you probably did a lot of fucked up shit in your past in your background. That's niggas. Some niggas are not gonna let that shit go. It, it would be best for you just not to do shit in your area and go out of state and go do something else somewhere else where you're safe to do it and stop trying to feel like you need to prove something and pop up in these places that are heavily active. Well, that's because thinking the motherfuckers ain't gonna pull up on you because they will pull up on you, dog. Well, I think that 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 look. There you gotta you go. play. There, there's ways to wiggle around it. You're, you're talking about doing it with complete freedom to do whatever you want, wherever you want. That's cool. You still can, but you gotta be able to to, to prepare yourself mentally, physically, whatever you gotta do it, it, with the people around you as well. When you're putting yourself into those situations, there you go. They should have already knew what they're getting themselves into, so they should have expected that and had a, had. They should have had security. They should have had like some Seven, type of security. But even then, Seven, so even then it might go up. But what I'm saying from an artist perspective, because look, you can't say go somewhere else because where the artist is going to get most of their fan base is where they're from, local. Yeah. That's where it's all going to come from. So if you can't, you know, in Spotify, show, they say perform where you get the most place so you can sell out the most tickets. Yeah. But the situation is, um, I My, feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. It go contradicts ahead. itself, fool, because you got to be kind of like, you gotta, you gotta be kind of a, a. I mean, I think what you, because even SPM could probably go when he gets out and fucking do a show in LA. He's, he's just gonna go, have to have stupid ass yeah, security though. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah. And you can't have. See, the, the I think what the problem is this: a lot of their fans are gang bangers. You have to be able to. You gotta have regular. You gotta hit that market of of fools. So maybe your music shouldn't be that gang related. To where you can get the youth that are not gang bangers, because these fools were just fucking fans that were in line, right? Because a lot of the black fools, when they be doing music, the majority of the people waiting to hear their shit are Mexicans, mm -hmm. not even black people. So none of their fans are going to get attacked. They're just random ass people. Maybe it's because when you're doing music for a specific type of people, right, that are gang members as well, 
they'll come and that be- makes everyone else a target. Maybe it, it does, but like I said, I mean, it's a cold game, dog. I mean, this shit is it happens everywhere, right? This shit's happening not just here, but it's happening in other states with other with other people who have issues with each other as well, fool. That's why shit like I don't I don't I don't know. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, no, hell yeah. Uh-huh. Motherfuckers be getting killed Boom. in front of shows all the time. Yeah. You're talking about like the fans and shit. Fans, not artists like that. I never. Yeah, I but never they, heard this of is this is their sure. fans that were targeted. You see what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh! Uh, uh, they were waiting outside. There was a line to get in, and they just it just made people come and and get on them. Man, you I feel already me? forgot their names. Who the fuck? GB oh. and Asito. Okay, so their fans are being targeted. Yes. So they had to leave. Supposedly, allegedly, in the newspaper clip and in the news, it said that one of their their fans was a gang member and got stabbed outside uh, and jumped and all types of shit. And he had to get fucking sent to the hospital. Yeah. I so mean, you see what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to figure out how the fuck this, how do other people do it? And I think it's because when other people make music, the game bangers don't go to the fucking shows Full regular people listen to the music and they go to the shows. You feel me? Well, yeah, you got to think about it. Like, uh, like a blue face concert is not going to have hella crips. You get, you get what you give, right? I don't I, cause you look, get what you get, right? So like everybody living a living a uh, 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 everybody who has some type of urban street background, the type of music that they're making mostly is having to do with some sort of violence, some type of uh, provocative like things that make people uh, influence to do things that are probably bad. But, but there's something different right? with the Hispanic community, so, fool. So you do that. And then you expect things to be peaceful at those type of events. You're being a little bit naive. Okay, but my point is this. You let me know what you think. You got a black artist. He goes and he records music. He does a, he does a show. All the people that go to his show are not gang members. Well, the majority of them are just like fucking like, like single bitches yeah. or Mexican fools, like non-affiliated people. Yep. Mexican guy does a show. Everybody that comes, all fucking gang bangers. So what I'm saying is, what the fuck is the difference there? Or how can even a Hispanic fool try to target a market to where there's no, there's like regular, how can you get the market that are non-affiliates? That's what the fuck I'm trying to figure out. I, I'm not sure, fool. I think I think that maybe a large majority of like the most uh, dangerous um, like gangs or having or to maybe, with people who are Hispanic. Or maybe it has to do with the type of music that you're making. That's what I said. It's too game related. That's what I said. Maybe you should try to not be so game related I to imp- to get yeah. that other market. I didn't say that part, but yeah, that that's what I'm saying. It's I, but see, some people don't that when when they're start when they're when you're an artist and you're young, you're just you're spitting out everything that you're receiving in your environment. So if damn, if a, if a motherfucker doesn't know that right, then that's not what they're going to put out. You know what I mean? They they would have to be like basically like groomed at a young age into the music shit. Like, hey, look, you got talent, but don't rap about this, this, and that because that's not gonna get you nowhere. And if they get if they get conditioned at that point, then yeah, maybe they might have a chance. But like motherfuckers like us, like we've been in jail and we're around motherfuckers who are rapping too in jail, and we're just kind of we're 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 bouncing back that 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 energy you know what i'm saying and we're just like all right cool well this is my version of that what you just did right now this is my version and then also the type of shit that uh that's on the radio like still shit on the radio like if it's like some rap from the bay area motherfuckers still talking about 7.62s motherfuckers still talking about headshots motherfuckers talking about things but they're saying it they're saying it in like a very uh in a way where the radio can can receive it you know what i'm saying so at the same time it's still we're hearing things but what we put out is is our version of how we lived it or how we perceive it. Mm. Okay, so what do you think? Did these fools get ran out of the show, or did um uh did um they were basically forced out of the show by the by the event, uh by the incident that happened. But I think that uh uh. uh I think they they could have stayed if they wanted to and just like let more people get hurt. But I think they left because, uh, like, that was the most logical thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, for their safety and then for the safety of whoever's coming to see them, like, it just made sense to leave 
and not just be there like, oh, you know what? We don't care that that's happening. We're still going to stay here because we want to let our nuts hang and show motherfuckers that we don't care. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that. I think at a certain point, if you're an artist, you have to sacrifice and you have to make a decision on what you're trying to do. Because obviously, if you're going, if you're trying to be an artist, you don't want to be in the streets. You don't want There's to keep plenty doing. of artists that fucking that are in the streets that that have blown up that are still that shied away from it after the fact. Yes, I agree that when, once you hit a certain point that there's there's a moment where you need to stay away from that, whether, you know, you could you could you could be a part of it from a distance and like have conversations with people and, and give game on how to you feel me like help motherfuckers maneuver the right way. But yeah, I don't think it's smart. For somebody to be actively in the streets all the time and then trying to pursue the music 100% and then they're they're probably reaping the benefits but at the same time they they're also playing at a very high cost which which is their life because the more you become known to the internet the more you become known to the public you're just an easier target before you were just the uh, uh before you were just a human moving around you know society doing what you're doing with your people and you're not able to get recognized or spotted like that unless it's a direct encounter with somebody. But as you start doing music and you start getting more well known, your face is on the internet more, you're doing music videos and all that, you start becoming what's called a public figure. So once you start having that reputation upon your name or even to somebody that's doing constant music videos and getting a, a decent amount of views, you have to expect with you living uh, the lifestyle that you live that you're gonna get some type of uh, of negative interaction with people out there that you were able to avoid before the music, you get what I'm For saying. Sure. So, but my, my I think eventually is... yes, you 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 need to shy away from it. It's not smart to be doing both at the same time because look at uh, uh look at Lil Travi from or look at Colorado. Draco the Ruler. Draco the Ruler got killed performing, dog. That was some sick shit. Oh yeah, he did, huh? I didn't know about that. Well, got killed that. performing, dog. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, at what point does an artist decide what he's going to do? I think it's up to him and, and the team that he has. Do you you got to be very careful do how you, you do that. Do you have a circle around you that's encouraging the things that you're doing? Or or do you have people who are trying to, like... I mean, are they encouraging the good things more than the bad things, right? Do they correct you when you're wrong? Do they stay quiet when you're doing shit wrong? Do they laugh when you fuck up? Do they do they pull you to the side and let you know, hey... Like, I think what you did right there wasn't cool. You know what I mean? I think it does also matter about who you have around you. Yeah, for because sure. Because you're only going to be, you're going to be who you hang around with. You know what I'm saying? You're not just going to be some fucking square ass dude, always with gang members every single day and not adopt any fucking habits at all out of that. For sure. So you are who you hang with. So if you're if you're hanging with business owners, with gentlemen, with with people know how who know how to conduct themselves, you're going to start uh, presenting yourself that way to other people. Yes, sir. You feel me? Mm mm mm. All right, so you've seen this shit about this fool DJ Academics, dog. <laughs> so this fool's always constantly going bad and hard on bitches all the time. He's talking mad shit. He's, he's uh, uh, talking about, uh, fuck these thoughts, fuck these hoes, da 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 And then, um, and then this nigga go, is gonna go, and he's gonna DM his, his, this bitch, this female he's fucking with, like, his bitch, babe, are you, stop being at the apartment, don't go to the apartment, come over here, come right now, I'm gonna send a flight for you, can you, can you call me, why aren't you answering, what's wrong, da 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 question mark, all this type of shit, a nigga got exposed, fool, on some straight, Opposite of what the fuck he was saying type shit. And there's another fool um, uh, named Sharp, fool. Uh, he does a, a podcast, No Jumper, right? He, this nigga's getting... I don't know if he's getting exposed or not. I don't know, but it looks pretty bad. This female's like putting all his business out there like that. What the fuck? So like, what do you think um, about that type of shit right there? I mean, I feel like that's that, that just makes that fool look hella weak, dog. To be honest, because... The bitch already showing that she don't give a fuck about you. And if you, man, that's just, that's so cringe to me, dog. Like, hearing that, uh, that, that he's sitting there sending like paragraphs of shit saying, please don't do me like that. I'll do this, this, and this for you. And, she's and like, then he knows he's in an apartment with another dog, nigga. That shit and then he's trying so to send her weird. a flight to come to him. That's so weird. It's your choice. It's your choice in women that get you there. 
it's whatever you're attracted to at the moment. One thing that I that I've seen growing up is that people are attracted to some women that are easy to give it up, right? And then they end up having issues in the long run because you didn't have so you didn't get to understand who this person is before you started getting serious with them. They got serious because of sex. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because whether people like it or not, the the back and forth of sexual interaction with like, you know, a woman and you're a man, like you're going to start catching feelings. You know what I'm saying? And those feelings start catching to like fucking hanging out more and doing whatever. And then after that, next thing you know, you guys are in a relationship. Now you got a baby. Now this, God, this, and damn, that. Damn, nigga, you went down memory. This nigga said relationship, baby. <laughs> no, 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 you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and then and then down the line, you're like, damn, who the fuck is this bitch? Like, she, this is not even who. Like, I'm. I don't even want to be with a person like this. But you're you're so blinded at the fact that you're just like trying to get pussy, dog. God damn, all that from trying to get some pussy. <laughs> all that, fool. Hey, dog, God motherfuckers damn, going through it every mean? day, fool. Shit. Well, this what this what that tells me, fool. Honestly, it fucking shocked me a little bit because it's like that nigga is a fucking liar, bro. His whole persona is fake, and to me, it's like, bro, I can't trust nothing that DJ Academic says no more. He's a fucking liar, bro. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Cause look, I wasn't even listening to him already, fool, to begin with, dog. I be nigga, he's one of the most influential people, so I mean, people are gonna listen to him. But in my head, I'm like, bro, how can you do? It's just to me when I hear something like that, what he says to me is, this person cannot be trusted, cause your 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 personality is way too off. Yeah, you cannot be like this and then be like this in private. You can't do that, bro. Mm-hmm. And you're untrustworthy right off the top. And, you know, some people might say, hey, well, everybody's like that, you know? No, nigga, everybody's not like that. I'm not like that. Like, if you see how I am, I'm like this in real life. Maybe if I'm talking to some white folks, I might switch up my language a little bit. But but if you if I'm fucking with you, like, I'm talking to you how I really am. And I think when people do that type of shit, for it's just like, damn, bro. You can't be trusted because you're that. You can't, cr- dog. Yeah. You're that sophisticated in your mind to come up with so much fucking lies that you're two different personalities. You are. You're the definition of a fucking two faced person. Yeah. Um. But yeah, bro. Um. I mean, I wanted to. Uh, let's get this. Let's 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 uh, uh go on a little break real quick, man. Okay. Yeah, we can go on a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yes, sir. We back with it, man. Yeah, yeah. What's cracking? Um, okay, so, you know, another little subject, man. So, uh, Rico Too Smooth went to Chito Rana's neighborhood and did a music video for You know, well, probably, you know, I didn't even want to really talk about this shit, but if it's news, man, it's news, so, you feel me? <laughs> We're not being biased in this bitch. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah, nah. I mean, I mean, they went and, they went and did that, so, I mean... You can't, you can't like deny what's being shown, but uh, I mean, shit, dog. Not sure what's going on right there. What do you think about that? I don't know, dog. I feel like a, uh, 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 that's when shit gets real, or that's when you know if shit is gonna get real. So when shit like that happens and nothing happens. Then you start thinking about an individual a certain way because of how they uh, perceive themselves to the public and shit. Well, let's let's be frank, right? Um, Chito Ranas doesn't live in Sac. That fool lives in L.A. So it's not like he's gonna pull up and fucking do something anytime soon. Yeah. Right? Well, and but yeah. at what point? L- l- let's look at this from a fucking logical perspective, right? Chito Ranas got fucking money now. You know, he's got money. Even though a nigga used to be over here. You know, ask, you know, asking niggas for money and shit here and there when he's in jail. But now he got money. Nigga thinks he's a shit. He's got his money up, right? He's cool. All right. Rico Too Smooth lives in fucking sack, fool. He's right there, born, bred. Nigga still lives probably where the fuck he grew up. Chito Ranas is doing it big, fool. This nigga's fucking balling. Nigga got money. He's got his whole shit ahead of him. So at what point, if we're going to look at it logically, let's put all the gang shit aside. This nigga's not finna come and fucking throw his life away, nigga. His 
His life is no. probably way doper than this no, nigga's no, life. No, 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 and just be no, like, no. yeah, bro, you came over here. I'm going to just fuck that. We're going to go and throw, we'll jump out the window with this shit. No. That's like that's like if you're going to go to fucking Jay-Z's neighborhood and the Marcy Projects nigga and be like, what's up, nigga? Fuck you. Nigga, I'm right here at Marcy Projects. Jay-Z is going to be like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Nigga, I'm balling, nigga. What you mean? Yeah, you're still there. Nigga, you're going to stay there. Hey, I'm over here doing this. So, I, in, in that way, it's kind of like, come on, bro. It To me, it's an attention-seeking move. It's you're trying to get attention. You're trying to get clout. Yeah, of course. And so, and, and, and you're trying to get it from old boy. You feel me? And he's not reciprocating. So, he's like, bro, you think that I'm going to give you some play so that you can get a little bit more traction? Fuck no. I'm not giving you no play. I'm going to act like I didn't even see you do that. Because if it was the other way around... I'm sure Rico too smooth with him. The nigga, he had millions. I'm not saying Chito has millions. I don't know how much money he got, but let's just say he did have millions. You're not finna try to slide through. Nigga, on some millions. You're gonna be like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm over here balling. Nigga, I ain't finna do nothing like that. Now, now, uh, uh, that's the logical perspective. You feel me? That's that, that's logic. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you want to look at it that way, uh, 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 for the public to be like, the public see see the other side of it. Like, this nigga just, just went to the pen and way. did four years, dog. This nigga's been freed this whole time. Niggas, when they don't have nothing, they're willing to throw everything away for a little bit of nothing. Nigga, they'll throw. Look, they were there on that block. I'm sure them niggas were ready right there on that block. That means that they're ready to throw away everything for nothing. Could for what a music video? If someone would have really slid through and started letting something pop. They would have went down for a fucking music video? Nigga, come on, dog. That means you ain't doing nothing. You ain't got nothing going on in your life. You ain't got no money. You ain't doing it because I'm not finna... Niggas is not finna just throw their lives away for a fucking video, dog. You feel me? They're not. So so my thing is like, mm, it kind of shows you where people's lives are at. It shows what your life is worth to you. And that seems pretty low. Mm -hmm. And now it says a lot about what you got going on for yourself because you're trying to do this attention-seeking move. That's That's logical. That's in public. Now, let's look at it from a street perspective because you remember the streets don't have these, these things that Chito Rana has got going on with himself right now. The streets, most of the street niggas are in the streets for a reason. They wouldn't be in the streets if they was doing good. Mm -hmm. But now from the perspective of the streets, right, down here, yeah, it looks bad. And that, I don't know what's going on in Howe Park, you feel me? I don't know what's going on. Um, I got some homies from there. I haven't tapped in with them. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how long it took for them to make that video. Um, maybe they did it out the whim. You know, sometimes niggas aren't ready. Sometimes people don't know what's going on. But is that an excuse? No, I'm not going to make an excuse. You feel me? In, in the street world, yeah, Rico got one. He got one. He got he got a point right there for that. Because um, you, you is, this, is, this is not all spare and love and war, man. And all spare and war. So it's not like, are you ready? Are you ready for me to come? No, nah, niggas are not. It doesn't matter if you're ready or not. I mean, the fuck? Nigga, you got to stay ready. You feel me? So you don't gotta get ready. So yeah, that fool got his point in the, on the street system. Yeah, you got his point. In the industry system, I, I, I doubt it. I mean, it just shows that you ain't really got a, a lot of play like that. You're ready to throw your life away really for nothing. Um, and it, it just, that, that's what it shows. But on the streets, yeah, you, 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 you did that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but it's not really saying much if you know where you're going isn't really gonna do nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you know where you're going, nigga, it's not really a big stake. I mean, I don't know what's going on over there, so I'm, I'm going to just stop talking because I don't know. But obviously nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, I mean, shit, we don't know, right? Yeah. Oh, we, we, don't, mean, we actually don't even know. I mean, you can't speak on what you don't know. Def, you got me there. I, we don't even know what happened. Exactly. We the, haven't even tapped in with no one from Hot Park. Yeah, because yeah, well, I, I didn't feel the need to. You know what I'm saying? I really don't speak on shit like that unless it's like something really fucking like urgent. You know what I mean? True. But like whatever the homies got going on over there, you know, whether whether it's being shed to light or not, like if it's being shed to light, then we would know. But if it's not, but it's happening, like... You know what? You're, it's, you're it's, right. I might have jumped the gun there. Yeah, you know, I, really, I apologize if any homies, you know what I mean, listen to... You know, I don't know. I should I should have hit you fools up before I even spoke on it. Um, It just... You know, I mean, it is what it is, dog. You feel me? It is what it is. Um, it looks bad, fool. But I mean, hey, that's just on some street shit. That's just on some street shit. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be unbiased. I'm trying to be as unbiased as we can be. But in another perspective, you're looking at it from, from a logical perspective. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, Chito Ronas is doing big ass things, bro. He's not going to pull back. But you want this nigga to come through 
you know, and do all this. I mean, maybe if you would have gave him an invitation, shit, who knows? But we don't know what's going on. We don't know the back and forth. We're just making speculations and we're making assumptions because we don't know. But from everybody else's perspective, on the street level, it looks bad. From a logical perspective, I mean, it kind of, it kind of looks bad on old boy too because, like, bro, you're ready to crash out for what? A music video? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I don't know. Um, but that's that's my take on that little shit right there. Yeah, well, me personally, I don't I don't really speak much on what I don't know, fool. And and what I do know is that them fools did a video there, and whether or not shit has happened behind the scenes is is none of my business, dog. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying, but we're making nigga, we're talking about it, so we got to make some type of a perspective or some type of opinion. I said behind the scenes. Oh, behind the scenes, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. But what I what I what I know of so far, I mean, it looks like you know that that nigga, you know, he he slid through, he did that mm-hmm. on some unbiased shit, you know. But also, in a logical perspective, it kind of shows where old boy's mind's at, you know. Like he's just making it. He's he's trying to make a shot. He's trying to be like, all right, well. I'm trying to uh, prove the motherfuckers that like I'm really street with it. I'm really about this life. And, but uh, uh, but you don't really gotta. That's what I'm saying. You don't really gotta. A real street motherfucker don't gotta really prove he's a street motherfucker, bro. That's why I don't like about nowadays, fool. Like I I don't like it because motherfuckers want to wear red all the time or blue all the time or do. I don't even like really being like that. I don't like that. I don't like the the trap mentality that that is. I I rather be the motherfucker that's fly as fuck that comes through. Like not even you might not even know he's a game banger. He don't even tell you he's a game banger. He just comes through. He's fucking got a mouthpiece because that because you're just fucking out here in the world, bro. Working, moving. Da, da, da. People don't even know what's going on. And if they ask, then they know. You mm-hmm. know? Because I don't know, bro. I'm just I'm a little different. I, that's why I I will go to New York, bro. I've been to Georgia. I've been to hella places. I come through. I fuck with the Morenos. With the with the biceps, with some with the homies, you feel me? Like I can move around and shit. People don't don't when they see me, they don't be like, oh, that's what I think is is dope, is fly. Like the people I fuck with, the, I, like my favorite rapper niggas is like real player with it. You feel me? They're not really like blue, mm-hmm. all hella blued up, or you know, all game bangered out. Yeah. Young Dolph, you feel me? Nipsey Hussle actually, Nipsey Hussle was on some gang ass. Well, that's shit. good. You have you have good influences on your on your style, and it shows. I think you I, know what I'm saying, but like with me, man, sometimes I'll be blue though. though. I ain't gonna fucking lie, and it's it, it it's probably a pride thing. It's probably an ego thing. But you know what? I wear that shit with pride, dog. And I'm just like, man, you know what? Like I like this color right here. You know, what I I'm feel saying? you. I've done that as well, but that was more in my younger years. It's just, but it's not as a, uh, uh, as a, I like, feel like once I, I want to wear this because I want to go outside and show fools that I'm hard. I just like, I think I did it for so long I just like that. It. I just, people know where I'm from, so I don't really got to tell them. So now I like to come in the direction that's like, oh, this motherfucker, like this fool was like on some fly shit, you know? Cause you know, when I was younger fool, I had, I had a bald head till I was like 18 I would wear everything fucking blue. All my clothes were blue. Blue Dickies, blue fucking... Every color you could think of, blue Cortezes. You know what I'm saying? Like, blue t-shirts every day. I used to walk around with a blue bandana on my fucking head every day. But after a while, you do it so many times, it's like, bro, like, I don't... It just... I'm the type of person that well, has yeah. to evolve. Well, what happens is is that you start getting older and you mature, right? You don't you start not doing that anymore. Like, me personally, I don't dress the way I was dressing when I was 15, 16 either, right? Yeah, but I'm saying I like to constantly evolve myself um, into a higher and higher. Like, I, I I don't like, I think it's more better when people don't know where you're from and don't know what you are. It, to me, that seems more. Yeah, more, it, that's it, cool. That's cool if you're not a, uh, uh, a youngster. If you if no, 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 if from, I'm trying to talk to you about the way you feel right now, that's cool and everything. But it's like it only matters so much. But when you're okay, in, when you're in the eyes of of the public now, right, and you're on platforms like Bay Recon, and we have never enough game where we talk about certain things and and people already know our backgrounds, then the way you dress just doesn't matter anymore. Okay, let me explain to you what I mean. When I was younger, right, I used to dress hella cholo the fuck out, and there was a homie of mine. I'm not gonna say his name, but he's older than me, and he kind of laced me up on a lot of shit. And one day I had baggy ass pants, baggy everything, hell shit like that. And he was like, hey, fool, you're gonna, why, the, why are you dressing like that? And then I'm like, what do you mean? 
He's like, you look too hot. You look too obvious of what you're doing, you know? And it's throwing off, uh, uh, to be honest with you, he's like, bro, some of the, like, it's throwing off a lot of people. It looks like you're too, you're, you're trying to show this off too much. And, and, and even we were with some bitches. He's like, the bitches are kind of thrown off of it too. He's like, bro, look, what you should do is don't even dress like that, fool. Just dress like this. And I'm like, why? He's like, it looks better. It looks better because you you don't look que si eres presumido, que eres cholo. It's like somebody that's, that's, that's bragging about his war stories. Mm -hmm. You look like a good little pretty boy ass nice guy and shit. And then when it's time to get active, that's when you show who you really are. That is more doper. That looks better. And and he told me that, and and I took it to heart, and it's the truth. Fool. People don't want to be, what you're going to be all blued up or flamed up and do all this, like, all this. you already, like, you're doing too much. You feel me? It looks better when you got your, you know, like what they say, don't talk so much. Just just be quiet about it. And then if it's time to do something, then do it. And that's, that I learned from him, and that shit was hella true, fool. Because um, people, I've noticed take a better liking to you um, and you don't, it's almost like a show off, right? No one wants to be a show off. I mean, that's my perspective. What is their environment like? Vallejo was my environment. No, I didn't say you. I said there because we're talking about other people. Right? Oh, the guy that told me that? No, no, you, you're talking about other people doing that. That, that, that's, that that's basically not smart. I think that... Um, so you, because we, we can't dictate other people. I'm not dictating. I'm saying my perception is saying to me, um, nigga, I, I don't know. Because we can say, we can say what we want about how we think people should uh, I think should it address. shows how sophisticated you are. It does. And so some people might be the, the most sophisticated in their environment, dog. And that's how their environment is. My you know, environment is, was like that. Dressing. And I wasn't like that. That's what I'm talking We were in the same environment. Well, also what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, some some motherfuckers kept the super cholo, and some fools didn't. I kept the super cholo, but then when the homie laced me up, I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take his advice because I think on the on some real shit, you can get to more places too. You can mouthpiece more people. You can be up in front of people. You can be like, hey, da da da. And then the thing is, I think this is the difference. All right. When you do that, you're basically saying, this is my life. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. And then when you do it the other way, you're like, this is who I am. This is my, I'm, I'm really this person. And this is a little piece of who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, you, it depends on how you act. It depends on who you're going to see. You see what I'm saying? That's how I think it is. And I think that's a, I think it's good. I think you, I think that's better as you get older, you get to that because yeah, as you mature, uh, you, you have, grow, you grow out of it, dog. I think you grow into who you really are. But that still is a part of you, you know? And that's what I just think is like, eh, sometimes, I mean, I don't know. I, that shit don't impress me no more. A video with hella fools wearing red or even a video with hella fools wearing blue. It, to me, it's like, come on, bro. Like, uh, get some fly shit popping. I mean, fools are going to do it. They're going to do it. I'm just saying, to me, it doesn't impress me. It just makes me think like you, you're, you're kind of like a couple of steps back. That's how I look at it, to be honest. Yeah, because at the same time, like... Their actions are not to Im impress people with your mind state. That's why. And 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 I'm not impressed. So they're they're doing exactly. a good job. Yes. So, cause I like, don't know. The, the only video, people I think that would be not, impressed, impressed as little kids. Yeah. The 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 video is not meant to impress you or in, impress people like you, mind state wise. I think they, they're, they're they're meant to to a certain other juveniles. It could be juveniles. It could be whatever current state their environment is it's in. It's a juvenile mind state, though. It, it, who's ever impressed by that has a juvenile mind state. Because you don't see no grown folks that are like, oh, man, they look super cool. They all got color. Uh, we've done uh, it before. Oh, yeah. we've, we've done videos where we've been all in blue and shit. But what I'm saying is when people do that to me, it's like, bro, it's like, oh, you guys all went to the store and bought something blue or red and did a video. It's like, come on, dog. Like, come on. Nobody's impressed of that shit. Like, not a grown folk's going to be impressed of that shit. If, you, if you're if you in a video and you and you feel me, you got like fucking uh, $1,000 in the video or something, ain't no grown folk's going to be impressed of that. Oh, you got $1,000. Okay, cool. Right. Some but... little niggas are going to be like, oh, shit, they got $1,000. Yeah, because it's the... It's... They're trying to yes. appeal to the juvenile audience. Yes, exactly. But I'm not a juvenile nigga. We see through that shit. I see through that shit. I do. No, yeah, same. Yeah. That shit doesn't impress me. If you get, yeah, that's, that's just how I look at it. But um, all right, we should wrap this bitch up, no? Yeah, we could wrap it up, man. Um, 
So yeah, look, check it out. Catch you motherfuckers on the next one. Go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.